Hi guys, my name is Rob from Vision PD. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you around the top floor. We're gonna be having a quick look around before we get too far ahead with the build so you can see what the building looked like before we made a mess. Let's get to it. So there are three flats on this floor, one at the front, one at the middle, one at the back. And in between each flat, I think it might be handy if I show you the flats that we finished downstairs because they're very similar in layout so that you can get a bit of a sense as to what they're going to look like in the end. Okay, so I'll start giving you a tour of the way the floor is laid out. So here's the communal staircase here. I'll open this for a bit of light. Come up the staircase and then you've got one flat down there with the entrance door about halfway along that wall. Another flat just here which is the middle one, and then we've got the one I did the intro in down there, which is the largest one of the three. I'll start with the one that way, because this is the furthest ahead. So you've come through the front door already here. On the left, we've got the bedroom. Unfortunately, we're stuck with the size of it because this is the size of the room as the building was built. But we put these French doors in here so that we've got a balcony outside, which makes it much lighter in here and gives you a sort of second size usable space. Through here, this is all hallway. Around the corner into the bathroom, we've got pocket doors so that you're not gonna clang anything with a swinging door. Bathroom's usually a bit tight with the packaging. Shower bath around the corner, very standard layout for the rest of it. And then this is the living room and kitchen, which will have the kitchen going around the side, one side, two side, and a little bit into the third side there. Dove gray units with white worktops. And then you've got the living space and kitchen area around here, windows on three sides, which makes it nice and light. And the trees break up some of the view towards the road, which is a bit of a bonus on this top floor. Okay, so this is the middle flat, um, this one's sold, and the one that I've shown you, which has got the green wood panelling, that's the same layout here, with the difference being that we've got an upstairs mezzanine up in this section, which I'll show you in a minute. There'll be a spiral staircase here. The glass, glass pocket door that we've got will be going halfway further down to give us room for the stairs. So this is the bathroom. We're in the hallway here with the stairs come through here and we're in the kitchen slash living room although it's a bit of a small kitchen so upstairs it's possibly going to be a living room depending on how people decide to use it kitchen runs along there come through here and we've got the bedroom in this section as I said like it's a, it's a really big mess at the minute um, so upstairs if you can see you sort of see. Up there, we've gutted the, the attic and we're going to be plasterboarding and insulating all of the upper joists. This section is going to be exposed so you can look up and into the joists. And then these two sections, we've built a floor. And you can tell from my puff, puffing and panting, this is the hottest day in the year, so I'm not going to put taking it up there, but I'll do it. It's got to be about a million degrees up here right now. That's because there's no insulation in the roof at the moment, which means that all the heat from outside is just coming in here and making it super hot. When we're done, this will be a very comfortable living space. What we're going to do is insulate between the 
rafters, so we'll have 70mm in between the rafters, and then we've got a bondage plasterboard with insulation together, which will then skin over the tops. So there's no cold bridging between the timbers. If you've got cold air on the outside, then you have anything that has a continuous um, passage through, such as this joist. If you imagine the outside is on the outside of the air, the inside, if you didn't insulate that, this would contract the cold through it and then that would, you'd have cold spots so you, you put the plasterboard and the insulation across the top to stop any of that coming through. Floors down, we're going to have carpet up here, but it's quite a nice space. Not really nice in this heat though. Not sure how well you can see me here, it's quite dark up here, but this edge here is going to be where the banister is. And then this whole section here is going to be open and these beams are going to be painted so that you can see all the way through and up into this lofted ceiling. And then the handrail in here you'll be able to look down into the kitchen. If it was all closed off you'd have ventilation issues because we don't want to mess with the roof. We don't want to start cutting holes and putting roof lights in. Um, also it becomes a sealed room with no ventilation so if it's open like this then at least you don't get those problems with the roof space and it was either we do it like this or we don't do it at all and I think when you speak to people who are looking at buying these and you ask them if they'd like to have this space or not I think most of them would say they would. I explained in one of our previous videos how we do the soundproof walls. This one's not finished yet because it needs the fire cap over here because at the minute this is not a solid fire barrier. But we've gone all the way up. Uh, it's difficult to show you here. Gone all the way up to the top of the roof surface so that there's a solid block all the way, all the way up to the roof. And um, it's double skinned with neither of these two surfaces touching so you can see they're completely separate. Got the rubber layer extra sheets of ply, fireboard, uh, three sheets of ply so that these are going to be nice sand dead and if you want to see how we actually constructed this in one of our previous videos on flat 12 um, I think we'll take you down to the big one now so this one's a similar layout to the one downstairs you've got the corridor, we'll walk down that here or I'll pretend to, down the timbers like this and then Right, we've got bedroom here, and the bedroom is between this joist here and the wall. You've got bathroom in the centre of the room here, and then the hallway continues down into this whole section here, which is living room and kitchen. And there's one further bedroom in this section here, which is, uh, again, it's already existing, so it's, it's the size it is. But you can see in here, lofted ceiling again so this whole section you'll see and this is a bit nicer because it's the end of the building so that you've got the um, angle on the end as well as the angles on the sides so it'll be a bit more interesting to look at this one will have some proper stairs the stairs are going up there and in in a similar location to the other flat I've just shown you and the kitchen is in the back section here so this is one of the biggest ones it's got two bedrooms plus the mezzanine which is effectively another two rooms worth of floor space if not height in the ceiling this is going to be a really nice one you can see we're barely started this we've got some of the structure in for the the mezzanine and I don't know if you would have seen in the other one but we're doing it in such a way that none of the structure 
is leaning on the existing roof structure because we don't want to be compromising any of the strength of the old building. So what we're doing is adding these extra supports. They're sitting above any of the existing, pre-existing roof trusses. They're not strong enough to hold the floor anyway, the old ones. And then we're building this new false floor on top of that. So nothing sits, um, nothing sits on the old structure. It's floating completely above, which should keep it A, nice and nice and new and nice and strong, but also stop interfering. We don't want it to start bouncing on the trusses and compromise their rigidity. So we've made a new floor. So I hope that tour was helpful. Uh, I know it's all a bit of a mess right now. We're storing most of our materials up here. And as well, these are the last three flats. We haven't got anywhere else to store them. The chaps who came and helped us on the first floor are back on this top floor. We've got Jack and Josh, the carpenters. We've got Ryan, our decorator, who you will have seen decorating that middle flat. The one downstairs with the green paintwork took an awful lot of time for him. He had to fill in between all of the wood panelling with two-pack filler. Then he sanded it all down, which took him days and days and days. And then he sprayed it all in that lovely green colour. So he did a really, really fine job on that at the bottom. Um, Jack and Josh are going to be working on the stud work in this this week. And we've got our plumber, Paul, and Cole, who's coming back to do the first fix on these flats for us in the next week as well. And we've got Wayne, our electrician, who's already halfway through that flat. And we'll be moving on to this. So it won't be long before we'll be able to show you what the layout of this one actually looks like. If this is the kind of content you like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.